Our legacy isn't what we write on a resume or how many commas we have in our bank account. It's who we're lucky enough to have in our lives and what we can leave them with. The one thing we do know, we're here now. So I say we do the best we can while we're on the side of the dirt. Well, sometimes things just don't come together the way uh, you would hope. The best laid intentions don't always work out in the movies, and that's the case, sadly for me, with a new film called The Book of Henry. It's a movie that just doesn't seem to know what it wants to be. Is it going to be an interesting kind of family story about bringing up an 11-year-old genius kid? Is it going to be a suspense thriller, a revenge kind of drama? What's it going to be? Unfortunately, here's a movie with a terrific cast. You cannot go wrong with Naomi Watts, a multi-Oscar nominated actress, one of the best we have. Sarah Silverman, always a delight in everything and a fine dramatic actress on her own. And then probably the two top kid actors around today, Jaden Lieberher, who was so good opposite Bill Murray in St. Vincent's, and Jacob Tremblay, who should have had an Oscar nomination for the movie Room opposite Brie Larson. It also includes Dean Norris, who was so good in in Breaking Bad, and a director by the name of Colin Trevorrow, who did not only one of the best indie movies in recent years, Safety Not Guaranteed, but has proven himself just as adept making smart, big, budget blockbuster movies like Jurassic World and its upcoming sequel, and a Star Wars movie. He can do it all. He shouldn't have done The Book of Henry. It struggles with tone. It comes from a script by Greg Hurwitz, and it just doesn't quite work. Henry is a genius kid. He's 11 years old. He sort of takes after his mother mother, who is a waitress at a diner uh, alongside uh, her fellow worker, Sarah Silverman. She's not the brightest bulb in the planet here, but uh, Henry really looks up to her and makes sure that the family is going to be okay. And he looks after his younger brother, eight-year-old Peter, played by Jacob Tremblay. Well, Henry is also writing furiously this book, and that's the title of the movie, too, The Book of Henry. We don't quite know why he's doing it, but he knows something other people don't know. And he's noticed something going on next door with his schoolmate, Christina. She is played by Maddie Ziegler. Something's going on with the father, played by Dean Norris, and it's not a good thing. And Henry really notices all of this and wants to get to the bottom of it and help Christina out of this abusive situation that she finds herself in, but quietly can't tell anybody. Hey, Glenn. You must be excited about the talent show. Oh. Yeah, I, I confess, I, I, I get a little impatient at things like that. I, I thought uh, Janie's mom was taking you. Jenna, they're out of town that week. Well, I can, I'm happy to take her. I'll, uh, I'll pick her up. Great. Henry, oh, about halfway through the movie, and this is going to be a spoiler alert, folks. If you don't want to know any plot details at all, I do have to tell you this one. Uh, so stop watching at this point if you don't want to know. Henry gets a brain tumor, and Henry isn't long for this world. But Henry leaves something behind. Detailed plans for his mother. He sets all this up, goes to a gun store, sets up everything for the ultimate revenge uh, to help out his friend Christina next door. So he expects his mother to follow through and suddenly become this gun-toting, revenge-wanting woman who is out to do justice in the world here. This now turns the Book of Henry from a nice little family story into a revenge thriller, and it just doesn't read right. Something is wrong. It's not credible at all to see what Naomi Watts goes through in this movie, and I didn't think it had much of a point. This movie really struggles with tone, and I'm so sorry for that because the actors do everything they possibly can. I really like Jaden Lieberher in everything. He's very fine in this movie. He was wise to get out at the halfway point. The rest of them are left to fumble around to a, uh, a not-so-hot finish, folks. For the Book of Henry, I have to say, big disappointment. I wanted more. I say no.